Welcome to Learnpedia, the 24 by 7 JE NEAT resource at your fingertips. Let's see if you can answer this actual NEAT question. If you think you got the answer, post it in the comment section below. To understand the concept behind this question, go ahead and watch this full video. We are going to study about the Carnot cycle. So, first of all, let us understand how the engine works and what is the basic principle of the engine. Let us first load this diagram. All right. So, here it is. Let me explain you first that what are these things. Basically, engine works on the principle such that here you can see that it is a high temperature body. It is a high temperature body and here it is a low temperature body which is also known as sink. So what is the working of the engine is basically that it absorbs some amount of heat say it is Q1 from a high temperature body and I have assumed here the temperature to be T1 high temperature T1 and partly converts it into mechanical work and the remaining amount of heat is rejected to a low temperature body which is known as the sink. So that is how basically the engine operates. What it does? It takes Q1 amount of heat from the high temperature body and partly converts into mechanical work and, this, and then rejects the remaining amount of heat into a low temperature body. Here I'd like to tell you one law of thermodynamics that it is not possible it is not possible to convert all heat into mechanical work just understand this thing means this is something which is imposed from nature that it is not possible to convert all heat into mechanical work. Although reverse is possible, you can convert total mechanical work into the heat, but reverse, this thing is not possible. You have to reject certain amount of heat to the low temperature of body. So this is something that we'll prove here. So how to achieve this thing? First of all, let us understand this thing that Q1 amount of heat is absorbed and W is the partial work done so w has to be what q1 minus q2 q1 is the amount of heat absorbed and q2 is the amount of is rejected so remaining the q1 minus q2 amount must be the work done by the engine so how do you find the efficiency of the engine eta is basically efficiency of the engine we define the efficiency as mechanical work output per unit absorbed heat means because we have absorbed Q1 amount of heat and how much we have converted it into mechanical work. So that is the measure of the efficiency that W upon Q1. So W we know that it is Q1 minus Q2. So eta the efficiency is equal to Q1 minus Q2 divided by Q1 and that is how the eta the efficiency can be written as 1 minus Q2 divided by Q1. So this is the relation of the efficiency of this particular engine. I hope you could answer the question. Still, you can check with the solutions shown here. Found this video useful? Hit the like and share buttons to go ahead and enjoy more such videos. Use the comment section below to post your feedback, questions or queries. Learnpedia's JE and NEAT prep tools contain more than 4,000 videos and over 20,000 questions. These can be accessed online on our website or offline through an SD card or a pen drive. To buy now, visit www.learnpedia.in. You can also experience a free demo of our product before buying.